end. The car park spots don't end. Another Koenigsegg. Such a sick spec, this Pure Sport with full carbon fiber Pagani wired. Well, a yellow one. It really is just one of them days where our luck is on the side. And what a start this is. The first car in this car park we're about to check out is a Bugatti Chiron. Check out this Chiron in the sunlight, a very dark blue chrome wheels, such a class spec and a very cool number plate, LRB in Cali. What a spot. Now we are cooking in the Cali heat, a TDF with what gets even better points, HREs. Look at that, they suit the TDF so well. Amongst the 720S and another 720S, sandwiched between is a TDF. Oh, it looks so good. Next we have this beautiful spec SVJ, a lovely silver with orange calipers and details around the car. This is a very clean spec indeed. The thing is though, because the sun is so bright, looking at this actually hurts your eyes and it's not even chrome to hurt your eyes, but that's cool. And that's even a cooler plate, look at that, kicks. Now 430 Scuderia in possibly one of the best colors for this car in my opinion. This blue looks so cool on it and Again, there is literally luxury supercars everywhere from Lusso, 4FA, DBX, but we're gonna try and hunt down the main ones, the hypercars, the rare supercars. And look there, an Audi R8, AMG GTR, like the Quail car park is ridiculous. From one very cool Lambo, the new Technica, to an absolute legend, the Diablo VT. Very cool. Next to a very cool dark uh, purple GTR, AMG GTR, and next to the new 296 GTB. Fantastic spec on this FF, this dark green. Look at that in the sunlight. Now, I hope that is a real super legera. Go on, give us a rev. There we go, there's the SVJ. So next up, we have found a Porsche Carrera GT on Washington plates. And it's completely murdered out with tinted windows. Just parked up amongst all of these i mean this is wicked in this spec it's got some funky stickers around the car but very murdered out and hiding in the shade by far the best spot so far the new 911 dakar literally off-roading on a hill everyone else is parked normally and how a dakar should be and you can tell he's been using it look how dusty it is he has just gone and run over both cones oh dear we now have this lovely 765LT and 720S. Look at the stance on this wide body Cullinan. That is so low to the ground. We might have the most outrageous California here. It's like they've gone for the cavalcade tailored made. I mean, there's no way this is tailored made. I think this is just a very goofy wrap. It's uh, yeah, uh, interesting. Now check out this for our next spot, a full carbon fiber Pagani Wire. This is one we saw in Carmel the other day, but the coolest thing about this is it's full carbon. Literally everywhere you look, side panels, mirror, bonnet, roof, you literally name it, this car is full carbon fiber. and looks amazing in the sunlight right now. And how funny is it next to like a Perth, which is an amazing supercar, and 720, but how boring do they look when you have a carbon fiber wire next to it. One beautifully specced Pista, loving the stripe on this. A nice dark blue Aventador Ultime. I haven't really seen many Ultimates this trip, let alone Aventadors, but I think this is like my second one, as there was one at the RM Sotheby's auction. And here's the iconic to exhaust on the Ultime, looks really cool. Now, I wonder if this is real, and if it is, then, well, this man right here is ultra rich. A line of the Lotus, a mirror, and a 275 GTB Ferrari. Just car week things. I certainly didn't expect to see an MSO HS out here. And a fantastic orange in the sunlight. I love the carbon stripe. So cool with the HS wing. Just love this car so much. One of 25. What the actual hell? A customer SP3 has just pulled in. This is easily now the best spot. Wow. So this has come straight from the cavalcade in a beautiful blue and white spec. The owner just chilling, parked up really. I'm imagining he's gonna go soon, but I did not expect to see this.
yeah, this day is just getting better and better. Another Bugatti Chiron now parked up, completely murdered out, black wheels, black paint. Oh my God. It really is just one of them days where our luck is on the side and everything that's out we are spotting. Just to see another Chiron parked up and a standard one is unreal. From the Dakar to off-roading now in the Storato with a proper kind of like roof box all, all ready for it. So cool to see these Storatos out and about. It's our second one actually driving around. Cool livery on it as well. Next to the Competizione and TDF we've seen before at Laguna Seca. And looks like the owners are about to head off. Just so sick to see these V12s again with a Performante and Mercy, but we'll get to them in a second. Let's see these leave. the other cars in here from an SLR 4GT 812 DBX FA 812 a singer a mercy right here and even a Gallardo Perfamonte <laughs> it really doesn't end what is this vlog a Lexus LFA Nurburgring edition is over there just take a look at this this whole trip I've been seeing photos of this and thought it's been orange until my mate pointed out it's actually yellow but as a Nurburgring edition it, although it's on Florida plates, look at this one in here. LFA Nerve. That is outrageously good. But yeah, this actually is yellow, and I don't think I've ever seen a yellow LFA, or at least one being a Nurburgring edition. So cool it is. I haven't seen, oh no, I saw the orange one out here, and now we've got a, well, a yellow one. So we have had lunch and the sun cream is back on and the car park spots don't end. We've now got Koenigsegg Regera in white and blue carbon right behind me with the new uh, 992 GT3 RS in guards red, which is very nice. Now this is a really cool Regera. I'm loving the blue carbon finish on this and it's great to see a new 3 RS out here as well. But in the sunlight, this blue carbon really does pop off. As you can see, the carbon weave so well. Here we have a pair of Venom F5s crazy one with a wing I absolutely love and uh, yeah again adding to the car park uh, spotting list nice to find another Pagani wire up parked up all the way from Florida and a big shout out to Dan a blue with tan spec and another Storato is here like I said the other one had a missing roof box but this one completes it all he has got the roof box and it just looks so good it actually suits the car even better with the roof box fantastic plate on this Carrera GT casually saying Carrera GT CGT V10 once again another Pagani wire this time it's to Roadster BC and like the Regera it is white with blue carbon we saw this on the first day and another car we've already seen before but I can't believe it's here it's the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport in orange Dave's cars one what is going on so this is what I saw in the underground yesterday and it's so cool to see now out in the sunlight such a sick spec this pure sport we've seen the yellow red and now orange orange seats got black carbon all around it and look how many supercars are around i can't even name them all because there's so many we've got a 4 gt gt3 touring the list goes on but this is a uh, very special another 4 gt slide very quickly with an 812 gts so we now find a beautiful svj Got a Gunther Works, kind of like their Roadster Speedster version in a lovely light blue with an orange interior. Dark green STO, if you can just see. Got a 488 with a carbon bonnet, MP4 12C, the Diablo, well, another one VT. Oh no, this is actually a 30th anniversary. This could be actually the one I saw that we are curated. I did see a black one. We've got an F40 right here, very casually said. We've seen this light blue Gallardo quite a few times. Such a fantastic spec this is. <laughs> the 
hypercars just don't end. I mean, another Koenigsegg. This looks like a CCXR, I believe. I've never seen this one, actually. I like the red details on it. On uh, Caddy plates, I love the ghost badge. I think it's a CCX, maybe? I'm not too sure the R, what difference it is, but it's very cool to see this Koenigsegg here. And then we have a Pagani Wira here. Uh, looks like to be a Roadster. I like the dark blue stripe. I've never seen this one before. We've also got another Ultimate. If I quickly polarize that, there we go. I like this wire a lot. Just the US bumpers, they've ruined the car. But this blue carbon's wicked. You can see it right here and on top over the engine bay. So very cool to tick off two new hypercars. And the last car at the end of the car park is a Mercy SV. Absolutely crazy this car park, but now to head back down this way to see what else there is. Oh, well, this is the point in the video where I'm truly speechless. Well, me and Lewis have just jumped on a, oh my God, I've just seen it. We've jumped on a shuttle bus to Bonham's auction as we got heads up of one unicorn that's arrived. Hmm. I'll let the car do the talking. But that is a Nero, Nero Daytona Black F50. A, a bit, there's two Chiron Super Sports there. I am not fussed. Oh my god. This is, this is now the spot of today. This beats the SP3, this beats the Mirage GT. This is a unicorn level. Like, where do I start and how do I describe this? <laughs> I just laugh at it because a Black F50 is like the king. It's uh, but anyway, there's two Bugatti Chiron Super Sports which you can check out. I've seen these quite a bit during car week at Spanish Bay and uh, they're incredible, amazing, but we focus more onto this beast. I mean, where do you actually begin with a black F50? It's, it's absolute perfection. I've always said, as you can watch my old videos or online, uh, the black uh, on an F50 just suits it so cool. It's even got black plates, how about that? And uh, the one in the UK, which we have a black one that's straight piped, for me that's like a top five car of all time. It's perfect. And uh, seeing one on Montana plates is, uh, yeah, this is the icing on the cake for today. So there we are, he's just gonna move it to actually better photos for us and uh, I don't really know what the point was to move it, probably to flex on us and you know, go for it man. Uh, we did over here, it's not even his, but he does own an F40 so his group of friends are clearly very good but this is without a doubt the best car sport of today in the Quell car park with this extra one being in the Bonhams auction just 10 minutes away. DDE are now in the house with their Gallardo like Super Trofeo and their crazy VF engineering again Super Trofeo got that Gallardo version the STO version and I think lastly for well the car park I, I think we've actually have hit jackpot now absolutely ridiculous seeing these two both by the same owner and I think he's taken inspiration of the air take on the 918 the roof scoop I've never seen that before in a 918 wrapped in like a dark blue which looks really good in the sunlight and then the Mirage GT in this dark blue again which you can see the sparkles orange interior orange lights orange calipers oh just it's a top five car of all time for me the Mirage GT and let's check out that crazy exhaust. I've only ever seen two of these out of the 25. We saw this driving in Carmel yesterday. Just look at it. It is perfection. Not many people like it, to be fair, because it's a Carrera GT on steroids, but I do. And I love this 918 as well. So it looks like this LaFerrari, which I've been seeing the last few days off, is about to go with this ridiculous lineup from the Laf 918, Wara BC, Singer, Orange Carrera GT, and Ogara's one of one brown carbon 765LT and the car grumps his cars there but 
can't get bored of a LaFerrari. And then my second LFA of today, and this one in orange. Seen this one a few times now here at Car Week. So nice. And uh, yeah, here goes the laugh. That's my car too, so I won't get you. <laughs> yeah, you're all good. All right, you bet. So you're gonna have to excuse the wind now as it's picked up and we are due a hurricane in the next few days, but here is Thor and Vader. I've not seen these two since Goodwood 2018, both with the gold diamond dust, and yes, real diamond and moon dust in the paint, both as a pair. I could never tell which one's Thor and which one's Vader, but who actually cares? Both Agera RSs, the last two Effies they are. To see them just in the car park is the craziest part, that the car park is crazier than the event. But as you can see, that is Vader right here. And then this one is Thor. Quite a difference in the paint jobs, and you've got a bit more gold on this one. But it's so cool to see both of these FEs together. And here we have the Wire BC startup with their 918. And looks like the LFA is going as well. And that is also the 918 with the Bowden exhaust, so it does sound a lot louder. color to have on your Singer and Carrera GT. So refreshing out here to see CGTs in these cool colors rather than we just get silver and black ones. And it really does suit it with orange calipers and a fantastic interior, look at this. I only just noticed that. That is absolutely stunning, love it. Matching interior as well, I mean that's how you do it as a pair. It's like everything, wicked pair there, the two FEs, and a wicked pair there, the two Porsches. And for the last car in these car park spots to finish the video, it's this full MSO McLaren 765LT in brown carbon and glistening brown paint. You see the brown carbon all along here in the sunlight, the flicker of brown and a light blue interior. It is absolutely mental. We've got MSO down the side here. We've got the, I think, owner's initials on the headrest and a light blue interior, which actually suits the car so well. I mean, how many cars can you say suit brown? Well, this one does. Such a sick color. And of course, 765LT, you have the quad exhausts. And yeah, under the sun, it's, uh, it's popping amazing. But what a video it's been checking out the car park here at Quail.